what you guys do at Graphic Rhythm and then this amazing thing about creatives that we're going to talk about today too, it, it actually shows all of that. And I'm very impressed that, that you're more of the customer side rather than the designer side, because that's like the rest of us, right? I am not a designer at all. Hence the reason I come to places like Graphic Rhythm, because I do not do design. And it's funny also that you say that about the whole website design thing like that too, because I had someone tell me before, this could use a few updates and improvements on your design. It's because I'm like, I'm not good at that stuff. I can just, I can make it happen, but it's not usually a successful uh, transaction for me to design stuff. So that's really cool because you really understand from a customer perspective, what we need. And throughout your, uh, I know that I was able to get before creatives, I was able to get my brand enhanced content from, from you guys. And uh, the communication there was top notch as far as the questions you guys asked and then the deliverables were right on that. So that really, really shines through. So you saw the hole in the marketplace for the customers um, coming in saying, I need these graphic designs and I need these things for my private label or whatever else. Now. Um, that was just telling a story about enhanced brand content and services and how you guys did mine. And I'm one of the thousands you guys have optimized and it really, really improved the, the conversion rate actually by like almost a hundred percent because before we didn't have a whole lot of sales at all. And the moment we uploaded our enhanced brand content within a week, people were buying and then more people were buying. And then we added video and we saw another 20% increase. So these numbers are they're not just, you know, out there. These are my numbers, my own personal case study, if you will, um, about how this has improved my own listings. So um, let's talk a little bit more about the, the graphics and the, the ideas before we get into the nitty gritty of you showing us this amazing new tool that I love is um, like the, the idea behind the psychology of the imagery and why this is so important. Why should people even care about adding infographics or extra imagery to their listings? Well, so, you know, first of all, that's awesome that, that the conversions improved on your listing. That's great. That's what we like to hear. And the imagery is, is all about conversions. You know, so you, you do a lot of work as an Amazon seller, just trying to get people to look at your listing, right? Running ads, optimizing titles, main images. Um, that's all part of that, you know, that effort to drive traffic to your listing, but then the, they show up at your listing, right? So you've convinced them, yay, I'm going to go check this product out. And now's your opportunity to sell. You haven't won yet. They just clicked, you know, you got to get them to buy it. And so that's where the imagery really is shines, right? It's, it's purpose is to bring them from consideration to buying. Um, and you do that through a series of images. And a lot of sellers uh, content themselves with doing the bare minimum. So that's like photography, you know, showing, you know, there's a lot of emphasis on products. And I've talked to like, or photography rather, I've talked to some like really seasoned Amazon sellers who don't really think about the difference between photography and imagery, right? We all do, we do imagery at, at Graphic Rhythm, you know, and we take, and photography is a component of that. And so when you're, if you're just focusing on, do my photos look good? Or am I complying with Amazon's policies, which is like, you know, showing off an ingredient label or anything like that, then you're missing an opportunity to sell to your customers. So 